Hello everyone. Happy Vlogmas. This is Nandini. Hi. And today we're going to be trying the Starbucks Christmas drinks. Fun fact, my first ever YouTube video last year was trying the Christmas ones from last year. So this is we've come Hi. full circle. <laughs> traditions. We have traditions now. So basically we have a iced toffee nut. This no, is a cookie, that's... confetti cookie latte. Yep, this is a gingerbread latte and then we have a toffee nut frappe. Pacino. Let me show them the situation. They accidentally mess up our order, so we have a lot of drinks. Oh, and what's the hot one? Uh, the tough, no, the cookie one, but hot. Yes, and I think that we should do that first because that looks really sad right now. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Very sad, and I also I'm gonna put this down over there. Actually, actually. Actually. Oh! <laughs> Jasper, if you're watching this, uh, we're so sorry. It wasn't it was me. Her fault. We'll clean it. We promise. Yeah. Cheers, I guess. It looks so sad. Yeah, you go. Like water. It literally is like the most nothing thing I've ever tasted. Why can't I taste the sprinkles? Do we have COVID? <laughs> Don't even say that. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Why is it turning to gel? <laughs> yeah. It really did. Well, well, you might as well try the ice version. Yes, I'm going to grab another straw. I'm gonna try some whipped cream. Oh! <laughs> lick it off, lick it off! The cream's nice at least. What does it taste yeah, like? Yeah, it still tastes like water. <laughs> and I can definitely taste the cream, so it's not COVID. Oh, yeah, the whipped cream's not. <laughs> the stock standard everyday whipped cream tastes real nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just tastes like nothing. I was really looking forward to like the warm, comforting cookie kind of feel. And I had like warm, soft baked cho chip cookies with steam coming out of it in my yeah. head, but then like fairy bread with sprinkles as a child vibes, mm. and you know, it was like <sighs> not a vibe. I got advice once, guys, to all of Tasha's followers. I'm so sorry that you know you're getting free advice. Take it or leave it. You know, same as oxygen, it's free. Um, you can have everything you ever wanted. You just can't have it at once. <laughs> Maybe like, it's because I say it to you all the time when we were on a team. I would be like, Lisa, I'm so glad that we're just promoting the message, guys. Twin flames right here. Yeah, Twin flames right here. That's so funny. So this is the next one is the gingerbread iced with no nothing on top. I feel like they forgot this one and then we had to get a replacement. I feel like they were just fed up so didn't even put anything on top. Don't hate it. All right. Tastes a bit would you put that spicy, up but a bit spicy. Like cinnamony or? Oh, like the ginger powder oh. wasn't quite organic. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> it's like almost like the chili powder mixed in by accident. Like yeah. a hint of cayenne pepper. It's like. Mm. It's kind of like got whiskey sh um, fiber vibes, you know? Yeah, like an Irish coffee. Mm. Oh. This one is presented the nicest, I think. Is this the Frappuccino? This is the Toffee Nut Cafe. Uh, the Frappuccino. Yeah. yeah. So we've tried... What, what, what have you tried? I've tried this one in the hot before. And I've tried it in the cold brew, and it was bad. And the hot was bad too, wasn't it? Uh, it put me off Starbucks. Like, I've never tried pumpkin spice latte because this one traumatized me in the warm. Mm. So I wasn't brave enough to... Pumpkin spice latte does not appeal to me at all. But people eat pumpkin pie as a sweet in yeah, that's gross. America too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, go try it. Oh! <laughs> tastes like bubble tea. Does it? It tastes like bubble tea. <laughs> Ooh. It tastes like bubble tea. Yeah! I like that. Mm. 
for redemption. Yeah, I feel like I had it last year and it was really bad. I mean, really good, but then I had the cold brew and it was so bad. Cold, it's probably because of the type of coffee. Instead of like one shot of espresso, you've got the entire cold brew, like that, basically, when with you flavor. Like, because it, it wouldn't separate. Like, you know how, like, with vanilla sweet cream cold foam, like, just mixes in? This one, like, didn't. So it just stayed on the top. And so when you drank it, you only got just, like, cold brew and then little tiny bits of toffee nut. I actually think this is my favourite today. Yeah, I mean, they're all shocking. So <laughs> it doesn't... <laughs> the standards weren't too high. No, but compared to last year, the last year's one was really, really nice. I actually want to just quickly go on the Starbucks website and read what their, like, things are about it. Actually, let me and you tell me if you think it matches. Okay. So, confetti cookie frappuccino. Made with a creamy blend of <laughs> frappuccino roast coffee, milk, ice, and toasted white chocolate flavored syrup. Topped off with a cloud of whipped cream and confetti sprinkles. This is the new holiday tradition you'll want to keep. Try it hot or iced. So, where was the creaminess and where was the white sugar? The white chocolate syrup? We got oat milk. <laughs> but still, oat milk's creamy. Also feel like I can't taste the coffee. No. It just tastes... I mean, like... the white chocolate flavour syrup, maybe that's what tastes like cardboard. Maybe. The whipped cream was nice. I wouldn't call those confetti sprinkles. Oh, well, they weren't generous with it, so maybe that's why. Yeah, it literally was like... It was like not a confetti, it was a party popper. <laughs> okay, toffee nut crunch. Okay. So, shots of rich espresso dance together with the heartwarming flavours of buttery toffee, which are delicately balanced by flavours of toasted nuts. The crescendo is a crown of whipped cream peak sprinkled in a sweet, crunchy topping, blended with milk and ice for the perfect summer sips. I feel like this is quite bougie and it came out bougie. <laughs> yeah. It's really buttery. Like, the toffee nut is so buttery. I agree. Agreed. Agreed. Gingerbread... Frappuccino, inspired by everyone's favorite Christmas cookie, the sweet and spicy flavors of gingerbread are the perfect match to our bold espresso. A cinnamon-infused whipped cream is the lovingly drizzled in golden ribbons of brown sugar sauce. Try it as a frappuccino blended beverage for an extra dose of cozy comfort. Okay, so um, what was the caramel-infused whipped cream? Didn't have it. Nothing on Cinnamon top. Cinnamon-infused whipped cream? Cinnamon-infused whipped cream wasn't on there. Nothing on top of it, so that was... Whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, we didn't get our... No drizzle. And, um... This beverage is vegan-friendly when enjoyed with oat, almond, soy, or plant-based whipped cream. Well, there you go. Oh, well, I think it was vegan. just all of them, to be honest. Oh, well, that was underwhelming, but <laughs> realistic. But... The winner. Absolutely. If you're going to get any toffee nut frappuccino, not hot, not cold brew, frappuccino. With oat milk. We did oat milk. Yeah, we did oat milk. And, um... For the rest of them, I wouldn't bother. You live and you learn. <laughs> Are we going to keep going with the, like, I don't know. sentimental value, yeah. like, oomph, but, like, so while not, you're here, not even as a joke? While, the, while you're here... Um, Comment but... down below. <laughs> <laughs> Some philosophical quote that you would like to impart on one of us. Because we need free. it after that experience. <laughs> no, it was actually a lovely experience. I'm glad that I did it. But, like, Starbucks... Pull through. Yeah. Like, <laughs> guys, I'm really religious about vanilla sweet cream cold brews, so I, 10 out of 10 would recommend every single time. Yeah. Just tread lightly with the variety of limited edition holiday seasonal. Yeah. I would recommend sticking to your cold brew with the vanilla sweet cream cold foam, <laughs> which is always just so nice. Every time I have it, I'm like you shocked. You never fail. You never fail. Yeah, but it like surprises me every time. <laughs> I'm, I'm like always so happy. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I just have a sponsorship for how many people I've gotten into those. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Starbucks. Hit her up to hit me up. Just saying. Yeah, after we've just been sure your drinks. <laughs> but one, hit us up. <laughs> We're honest. It's honest feedback. But we also bought some pretzels. We can show them. Show them. Bit of a mess, so I don't know about, you know, doing a oh, taste yeah. test. I actually don't even know what we got to, so this is stock standard. Cheese and chive. Yes. The best. Always. <laughs> and never forget your the spicy, spicy sauce. Mayo. And the, the sauce is actually like a spicy. Spi yeah. Like, it's you know, got a kick to it. Now, this is where the real, you know, surprise is. Yeah, I don't know. This one is a dessert one because we're a nice little mix of sweet and sour, you know, sugar and spice and all that's nice. I want to roll today. Oh! Look at that! 
Is that the cinnamon one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, can't wait. I'm going to go gorge in this and probably eat all of the calories we burnt off at the gym ever. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell so that you know when I post. And um, let me know if you try any of the Starbucks drinks, I suppose. Do you want to say bye? Well, thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> and keep watching Vlogmas. Love you.